There's an interview with Sunil Malik. Sunil works for the Danish Innovation Center. Sunil, uh, thanks for being with us. It's great to have you. Um, I, I'm sure folks watching this interview are going to want to learn a lot about what you do. Uh, could you give us, uh, just describe your background to us, please? Sure, you happy to. Um, so I've been in Silicon Valley for uh, 25 years. I ran my own healthcare relearning company for a number of years and then have been involved with founding a total of five startups and uh, came to the Innovation Center Denmark uh, just about six months ago to help them out with the startup companies that uh, they are bringing over from Denmark. Well, that's great. Uh, tell us more about the Innovation Center. Uh, what, what do you do there? What does it do? Happy to. So Denmark is a very export-driven economy. And what we do is take Danish startup companies and bring them, uh, in our case, to Silicon Valley to help them scale and grow and really drive uh, drive growth for exports and for uh uh, for jobs in, in Denmark and elsewhere. That's great. And so what kind of cool things are happening in technology in Denmark? What are you learning about the country that you didn't know? Denmark has uh, very good research, great universities, and in particular focus around, I'd say, three areas of, of strong competency are acoustics and sound technologies. Uh, second is in healthcare, and particularly healthcare IT. Uh, they also have an aging population. And then uh, lastly, they, they've been very strong in traditional IT, and a number of Danish companies have done quite well, including uh, the company whose technology we're using, Skype, which was co-founded by Dane. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. What, um, I didn't know that. What, uh, what challenges do uh, the Danes have with you know, taking that, making that technology, com commercializing technology and kind of growing companies? Where, where, you, where do you see they need help? Right. So Danes are very entrepreneurial, but where they need uh, help and experience is really scaling and growing companies. Uh, Denmark is a small country, only 5.5 million people. But of course, in, in a global economy, you have, to be, uh, you have to be able to scale rapidly and move to where the markets are, because if you don't, your competition will. And I think the Danes are politically realizing that uh, they really have to uh, leverage the best that Silicon Valley and elsewhere has to offer in order to, to, to make their companies be successful. Right. Yeah, great. That, no, that makes sense. Um, now, according to surveys, Danes, uh, of folks in the developed world, Danes are some of the most satisfied citizens. W why do you think that is? They have a very high and a very strong social welfare net. So there's very good health care, there's very good subsidized um, daycare for new parents and, and so on and so forth. You could call it uh, a, a, a social security blanket, but I think either way it makes Denmark, the Danish uh, people feel more comfortable in their everyday life and maybe a little less stressed than, uh, than folks elsewhere. Right. No, that, that makes sense. Well, uh, thanks for taking time with us today, Sunil, and we hope that we'll get a, a chances to chat with you uh, further and learn more about what you're doing at the uh, Innovation Center. And uh, appreciate the time. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Thank you.